Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Johnny Talk Sports, here to bring you my 2016 Super Bowl prediction between the Cleveland Browns and the Chicago Bears. Just kidding! I'm actually here to provide the 2016 World Series prediction between the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago Cubs. Comment below if you got the joke. I mean, just think that baseball's too best teams right now are in the same city as the two crappiest NFL teams. I just find that hilarious, as both these teams are a combined 175 consecutive years of no championship. But that streak is going to end no matter what. The Chicago Cubs have not won the World Series in 108 years, and the Cleveland Indians have not won it in 67 years. So for one of those teams... Their drought will finally be over. But which team will it be? We will find out in about a week and a half. There's at least four more games with MLB baseball left of the season. And as I kind of previewed, I didn't even have the Indians near the playoffs. I didn't have the Cubs in the World Series either. But it was kind of hyped up that the Chicago Cubs were going to be in the World Series. They're going to be at this point. It was a lock. But it's not necessarily a lock yet. The magic number for both these teams is four. But if you think about it, the advantages, some have significant advantage, others have some disadvantages. However, the batting batting advantage, I would give that to Chicago. Because, I mean, you got Ben Zobrist, who has now experience in the World Series as he was on the Royals last year. You got Anthony Rizzo. You got Chris Bryant, two dangerous sluggers. You got Baez. We really turned the tide around in game three, four. And the Indians, they don't really have like a good quality. They don't have like a quality hitter. I mean, they have Lonnie Chisenhall. He did really good last year. This year, I just haven't really heard enough out of Lonnie Chisenhall. Either I didn't watch any Cleveland Indians games this year or like baseball in general. Because I don't really like to get into baseball. I don't like associate myself with it until about September. However, both these teams, they were destined to be here this year. I mean, think about the Cubs last year in free agency. Picking up Zobrist. Picking up Hayward. Just stealing all these key players. Stealing John Lester. They're built, the Chicago Cubs are built on youth right now. With Rizzo being young. With Chris Bryant being young. Trading for Araldis Chapman. Right before the trade deadline. They were set up to win in 2016. And right now, it's looking like it could happen. 50-50 shot. Although for Cubs fans, for the Cubs to really end this drought, I think this has to be the year. So I think if it isn't, I think we're going to have to be waiting at least another 5 or 10 years. Because if they can't win it this year, it's either win it this year, win it the next year, or wait another like 5 to 10 years. So right now, that's the momentum that they have. Although they have all these players signed for long contracts. You never know when you get to the promised land. I mean, it's like... It's like this golden ticket, or this real fortune that both these teams got. To have a shot this year. And I was saying repeatedly that the Indians were kind of like the Royals in 2014. They're using the bullpen to their advantage. But is their bullpen worn out for these Chicago club... For these Chicago Cub sluggers? Is that bullpen warned out? I think it's time to get to what all you what you're all waiting for. The prediction for the 2016 World Series. So the Indians are hosting game one. Right now, I feel like the Indians. I think I think in game one we're gonna see a lot of runs in this game. I just think both pitchers are gonna struggle at the beginning, probably give up couple runs in the first two, three innings, but then it's going to settle down a little bit. Look for some runs to be scored in innings one through three, but four, five, six, seven. Look for it to calm down a little bit. Probably a minimum of runs because they're both into the game now. They know what's going on. Just the just nerves and anticipation of the World Series. In the end, though, I like the Chicago Cubs to win by about two runs. So look for that to happen. Game two. 
I really like the Indians to bounce back in game two. I just think that they're really going to ride off Bauer or Kluber, depending on who pitches that day. So right now we're 1-1 apiece after two. Game three, I like to go to Chicago. Game four, I like to go to Chicago. So right now we're at 3-1. Game five, I just think the Indians are going to extend that season and force a game six. But however, in game six... I like the Chicago Cubs to clinch it at Wrigley Field. The fans start crying. The grown men are just hugging random strangers. I mean, they're going to want to just sprint onto the base with a celebrate with the team. It's just going to be so emotional that night in Game 6 if the Cubs can actually clinch it in Wrigley Field. Just think about it. Parade for like three weeks if that happens. In fact, I'll even go out on a limb and say they're going to just celebrate this for the, until the start of the next season. So the emotions are just so high at that moment. I mean, I'm going to anticipate that the World Series parade, it's going to have the most in Major League Baseball history because the fans have been waiting their, literally their entire lives for this. I mean, shout out to all these Cub fans out there that have just stayed loyal just through this just heartbreak and just disappointment and being a laughing stock of all of sports. I mean, Indians fans too, I mean, laughing stock of the American League or in their division. I mean, it's going to be heartbreaking for one of these teams. I mean, Indians fans are there like Ryan Smith who watches this. Chicago Cub fans that watch this like Derek Papineau and Tyler Amoff. At least one of these people is going to get heartbroken after this World Series. Although either way, both fans of these clubs, they should be proud of what the team has accomplished this year. Just adds the parody of not only baseball, but sports in general. I mean, I'm debating that maybe December 31st, I'll do a kind of like a parody of sports, like the unbelievable moments of 2016 in sports. And this World Series is going to be in that. I mean, someone's got to remind me to do that. Well, that's going to do it for your World Series prediction. Leave your comments below of what you, who you think is going to win the World Series, how many games will it take, and even provide an explanation on why. I mean, I'll do that. I mean, subscribe to the channel. I mean, we're almost at 500 subscribers. I can just taste it. We'll do a QA, and a I guess, at 500. Just don't ask, like, these stupid questions that nobody's wanted the answer to. I mean, you can ask. It can be about sports. It can be about, my, it can be about me as a person. It could be It could be what my, um, what my favorite video game is or favorite TV show is or what kind of stuff I watch on TV other than sports. Although, follow me on Twitter at JBTalksSports. Share this with your friends, family, loved ones. I'm trying to get that mock draft working. I'm just so busy right now with all these crazy stuff happening in sports. College basketball starting soon. So we're going to talk about that really soon. The NBA starting tomorrow. I'm going to get a video real quick going. Even though the NBA season is kind of obvious. But I will see you there. Have a good day, everybody. I will see you next time.